So let's start with scheduling. As you can see in this video, what we did is uh, we want to show you the comparison of building a 30 line item schedule between Microsoft Project to the left and on the right side, I'll build. Some of the key differences, so as far as adding activities, it remains very similar. You could in out build, add the plus to the right or in Microsoft Project, just keep entering to add all the activities that you need. Um, as far as the user interface goes, Microsoft Project has a lot of features and a lot of things that you could do that sometimes make it a little cumbersome for people to, to use. So when we talk to superintendents, what they tell us is they default to Excel for any field updates so leverage because you need to learn on your own how to use Microsoft Project. On the right side, so those are like, of course, fast track videos and we'll show you how much time it took us for one versus the other. Um, where I have experience using P6 Project, Phoenix, um, I am a, a, a maybe a more experienced user just as most of the project management on this call are. But you could see here to the right in Outbuild when it comes to sequencing, leveraging the drag and drop feature and the bulk select uh, enabled me to just create that sequence of activities in a couple seconds. Uh, this is probably where the key drawback from Microsoft product came down to as far as you know, having to manually plug in and looking at which activities or that drop down that you could see now on the left to do the predecessors successors felt very cumbersome to me. And this is what I also hear uh, from most of the clients and, and prospect we talked to as far as you know, switching, why switching from project to outbuild is, is that ease of use. So you could see in, in about you know, seven minutes, seven or eight minutes uh, that schedule was built to the right. And on Microsoft, I'm still spending a little bit of time trying to figure out you know, the, the sequencing and, and looking at which activity number needs to be for predecessors and successors. Um, that is now taking me a couple more minutes to fi finalize it. So just to show you, the idea here is, I'll build has all the functionalities you need to manage a construction schedule. The core thing is contract schedule are very important and you want to keep that core of what you're used to show to clients and we understand this. So what we did is you have all those features, whether you're looking at predecessors and successors, flow baseline, being able to display a critical path, 